What was to become the Mound Plant started in 1943 as part of the Manhattan Project, the top secret army program that developed the atomic bomb. Monsanto Chemical Company was asked to study the radioactive element polonium. Work was carried on at Monsanto's Central Research Department on Nichols Road in Dayton, as well as several satellite units in the Dayton area, including the Bone Break Seminary Schoolhouse in West Dayton and the Runnymede Playhouse in Oakwood. Late in 1945, the Manhattan Engineering District determined that the organization established by Monsanto at Dayton should become a permanent facility. The search led to the selection of a 180-acre track adjacent to the city of Miamisburg in early 1946. Additional parcels of land were purchased over the next 35 years, increasing the size of the plant to its current 306 acres. Construction began in February 1947 and continued for the next two years until 17 buildings had been completed. The new laboratory was the first permanent facility of the Atomic Energy Commission which had succeeded the Manhattan Engineering District. Early mound programs investigated the chemical and metallurgical properties of polonium-210 and its applications, including the fabrication of neutron and alpha sources for weapon and non-weapon use. The primary interest in polonium was to use it as a source of neutrons that would actually initiate the atomic explosion. This was a critical component of these weapons. The neutron sources and alpha sources were used in research and as well as logging sources. As atomic weapons became more sophisticated, it was no longer necessary to have polonium initiators. As a result, all operations with polonium-210 terminated in June 1972. From 1950 to 1963, the laboratory investigations involving uranium, coactinium-231, and plutonium-239 were conducted as part of the National Civilian Power Reactor Program. The purpose of these studies was to identify the benefits and limitations of these materials as potential reactor fuels. The importance of the nuclear weapons work and the civilian nuclear reactor development activities has led the Ohio Historic Preservation Office and the Department of Energy to jointly declare that these original 17 buildings are of historical significance per the National Historic Preservation Act. Based on this determination, an information package including this video, photographs and floor plans will be used to document the role these buildings played in the early weapons and reactor programs. Separation of the stable isotopes of noble gases began in 1954. Non-radioactive isotopes of helium, neon, argon, krypton, and xenon were separated and purified in a separate building. The non-radioactive isotopes of carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen were separated by low temperature distillation at Los Alamos National Laboratory and shipped to the mound facility for further processing. Enrichment of sulfur-34 in sulfur compounds was also performed. These isotopes served various needs at mound and throughout the nuclear industry such as tracers in biological and agricultural research and as diagnostic tools in medicine. The helium-3 was used in manufacture of neutron detectors. All of these isotopes were made available to other government facilities and the rest of the nuclear industry. In 1954, the radioisotopic thermoelectric generator, or RTG, fueled with polonium-210, was invented at the mound facility. This invention converted heat from radioactive decay of polonium-210 into electricity. The RTG could be used to provide electrical power in applications where traditional electrical generating systems would not be reliable, such as on space missions. The first space nuclear auxiliary power, or SNAP generator, SNAP-3A, fueled with polonium-210, was demonstrated in 1959. The development of plutonium-238 he sources was started at the mound facility in 1961 as a replacement for the polonium RTGs since they had a much longer usable life than the polonium. These units had been used on a variety of space missions such as Voyager 1 and 2. More recently, the Galileo mission studied the planet Jupiter and Ulysses is looking at the polar regions of the Sun. RTGs were used most recently for the Cassini mission in 1997 where the planet Saturn will be examined. The units provide both heat and electrical power for the spacecraft. 
In 1957, Mound was selected to develop and produce explosive detonators that served as components for the nuclear weapons. These components served numerous purposes in the weapons, such as opening a valve, starting a time sequence, or initiating a reaction. Development of explosive timers in 1959 led to their manufacture at the plant starting in 1963. The development and manufacture of ferroelectrical transducers and firing set components and control initiation of detonators began at Mound in 1962. These detonators were installed in explosive timers, firing sets, and switches developed and manufactured at the facility and shipped to other DOE production and design agencies for use in the assembly of other nuclear weapon components and for use in testing programs. The nuclear weapons program evolved and Mound's mission evolved with it. The development of the thermonuclear or hydrogen bomb created a need for the radioactive isotope of hydrogen known as tritium. The first of several programs requiring tritium handling technology began at Mound in 1958. The plant had extensive capabilities for handling and studying tritium and tritium compounds for weapon and non-weapon applications. Plant facilities existed for the recovery and purification of tritium from all types of waste generated at Mound. In January 1975, Mound got a new owner. The AEC was dissolved and its responsibilities were turned over to the newly created Energy Research and Development Administration. In 1977, Mound changed hands again with the creation of the Department of Energy. Its name was changed from Mound Laboratory to Mound Plant. EG&G Mound Applied Technologies became the operating contractor on October 1988. Babcock and Wilcox became the operating contractor in October 1997. In 1984, DOE decided to evaluate the existing environmental conditions at the weapons complex sites including Mound. In 1989, Mound was named to the Environmental Protection Agency's National Priorities List. Mound was placed on the list following EPA's evaluation of the site, noting the necessity to clean up volatile organic compounds in the groundwater at the site. DOE is currently cleaning up contamination at the site under an agreement with the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency and the Ohio Environmental Protection Agency. In 1991, DOE completed the Nuclear Weapons Complex Reconfiguration Study, which concluded that it would be cost-effective to close some DOE sites and consolidate the work at the remaining sites. Mound was one of the sites to be closed. All programs, with the exception of the RTG program, have been transferred from Mound. After cleanup, the site will become a privately owned technology business park and thus continue to be an asset to the community.